every year the Champions League decides the best team in Europe, but today it'll be decided by a game of King of the Hill. The rules are simple. Manchester City will start on the hill as they are last year's Champions League winner. And each round, a different team will try and knock them off the hill by beating them in a football match. If Man City wins, not only do they stay on the hill, they can also steal a player from the losing team. But if they fail to defend their land, they are eliminated. And there's a new King of the Hill, which leaves me with one question. Will Manchester City be able to defend their throne or will your favorite club be the last one standing? With the first official spin of the wheel, Man City's opponent will be... Antwerp. These two clubs have never met each other in a football match, but Manchester City are the heavy favorites to win this one. Yet, it was Antwerp with the first good chance. What a save by Ederson! He keeps it nil-nil. That's a wake-up call for City, Derek. After a scoreless first half, Man City finally broke through. De Bruyne's block shot fell right to Foden's feet, who made no mistake in finding the back of the net. That goal would be enough to win the match and eliminate Antwerp from the competition. Not only do Man City stay on top of the hill, they also get to add Koulibaly to their squad because he received the highest match rating for Antwerp. Who will Manchester City play in round two? Celtic. They should also win this one. Great start here for Man City. Can they get an early lead? Erling Haaland to Kovacic, shoots! And it's 1-0 Manchester City in the 6th minute. The goals didn't stop there. A Man City corner would result in an own goal by Joe Hart. Kevin De Bruyne made it 3-0 just before halftime. Celtic would get one back in the second half, but it just wouldn't be enough. That match ended 5-1. Two matches in and Manchester City remain king of the hill, but to be champions, they still have a long road ahead. Hopefully, Thiago joining the squad helps them achieve that. Next up, we have... FC Porto. This will be their toughest match yet. Do it, wake up. This looks promising from Porto. Finally, some action after 48 minutes. Great through ball from Taremi. Surely the opener. For the first time in this competition, Man City does not lead in a football match. This could end badly for the Kings of the Hill right now. Corner for Man City here in the last 15 minutes. If they cannot find an equalizer, they will be eliminated. Foden. Foden still with the ball. Foden puts it across to Holland. Who... I think he just turned off. Man City, great attack here. To Kyogo, back to Holland. What is Holland doing? We're into stoppage time here and Man City still find themselves down a goal. This will probably be their last chance. Holland, Holland with the ball. And there's the final whistle. Man City have been eliminated by Porto, who are now the new kings of the hill. And with a 6.9 match rating, John Stones joins FC Porto, as that was the highest match rating for Manchester City. Porto's first match will be against... Napoli. That is a tough first opponent after Man City. Giveaway by Porto in a very dangerous area. Osiman to Zielinski, to Kvara, to Politano, but it's saved by Costa. What a save. Napoli still with the pressure before the halftime whistle. Lobotka from distance blocked by John Stones. Porto need to wake up if they think they're going to stay on the hill by the end of this match. Giveaway by Porto. Can they punish him? Osimhen from distance. Oh my days, what a goal. Osimhen in the 85th minute. What a strike off the post and into the back of the net. And there's the final whistle. Napoli hold on with a 1-0 lead. And they are the new king of the hill. As Estacchio joins their team. Who will try to take down Napoli? Feyenoord. With just minutes left in the match, a strike by Polish midfielder Zielinski meant that Napoli would remain king of the hill. Napoli got lucky, Derek. They'll have to step it up in the next match if they want to stay king. Especially because their next opponent was Bayern Munich. This is the biggest match in King of the Hill so far. Napoli versus Bayern. If Napoli can win this match, I think they could beat anyone. Napoli looking much better in their second match as King. Fantastic footwork from Zielinski. And Napoli have taken the lead. Zielinski is definitely carrying Napoli. Let's see if they can hold on against Bayern here. Bayern with players waiting in the box. Can Musiala find a target? Harry Kane cuts it back. Coleman. Goretzka ties it up in the 89th minute. This one is going to extra time. Nothing to report in extra time. We are heading to our first penalty shootout. Bayern still to miss a penalty. Oh, that would have been a great save, but it wasn't. Anguiza. Down the middle, but Ulrich saves it. If Bayern are able to put this one away, they knock Napoli off the hill, and they have. Bayern have defeated Napoli and are the new king of the hill. And who else but Zielinski is joining their squad? Who will Bayern Munich take on? RC Lenz. This should be an easy win. New signing Zielinski would get the only goal of the match after a beautiful pass from Musiala. This man cannot stop scoring. Bye-bye, RC Lenz. RC Lenz didn't stand a chance against Bayern, but if Bayern wants to stay on the hill, they will have to beat... Young boys. I'll be very surprised if the Swiss club is able to take down Bayern Munich. I don't think they have a chance. Oh, chance perhaps. 
Kane! And he's put it away, but it doesn't look like it's gonna count. I think he was on an offside position. Only centimeters offside. Young boys looking for their first shot on target here. Great attempt, but it's blocked by Upamakano. Sané alone in front of net. And it's 1-0. Bayern has the lead against the Young Boys in the 38th minute. That is well deserved. Dangerous play here from Young Boys. That looked like a foul, but it's not called. And it's a pass back to the keeper. What has the referee done just here? That is very sus. And there's the final whistle. Bayern stay on the hill. And Young Boys are eliminated. Who will Bayern play next? Manchester United. They actually are in the same group in the Champions League. So this isn't a matchup that we haven't seen before. Kane takes it himself from distance. Blocked by Varane. Still with Kane. To Musiala. Tries to dribble past Onana. But he is fouled. Hold on. Or is it offside? It is an offside. They play it short. Anthony dribbling. Still Anthony to Mount. To Rashford. To Casemiro, but it's blocked. But I think it hit a hand. It hit Zelinski's hand. And it is a penalty for Manchester United. That wasn't even that bad. Bruno Fernandes to give Manchester United the lead. And he does. What a penalty. Calm and composed. Man, you will go into the second half with a 1-0 lead. Bayern pushed for an equalizer in the second half. But just nothing was working. And there's the final whistle. Bayern have been eliminated. And our new king of the hill is Manchester United. And Harry Kane is a Manchester United player. United's first challenger will be RB Leipzig. Another German club taking on Manchester United. A late tackle by Leipzig saw their players sent off only 13 minutes into the match. With an extra player on the pitch, Man U were able to score twice and defeat the German side. Will United play another German team? No, they're playing PSG. Wake up, Stuart. Finally, some action. Uh, Mbappe looking for an option in the box. Colomani takes the shot, and it's in the back of the net. PSG have a 1-0 lead in the 51st minute. Onana didn't stand a chance against that shot. PSG not sitting back. This may be a chance for a second goal here. Dembele. Still Dembele. Still Dembele. To... Oh, and it bounces in off bound. PSG have a 2-0 lead in the 73rd minute. Manchester United are on the brink of elimination. We're in the 90th minute, and Manchester United still haven't found the back of the net. It looks like it's too late for the English club, and they will be eliminated. PSG are the new king of the hill. PSG played Shakhtar in their first match as king. Kylian Mbappe would open up the scoring for PSG, followed by a goal from youngster Zaire Emery to eliminate Shakhtar from the competition. PSG took on Benfica in round 13, but the Portuguese side didn't stand a chance as Dembele opened the scoring, followed by two goals from Kylian Mbappe. That one ended 3-1. PSG's next challenger will be Arsenal. This is their biggest challenge yet. Will the English club be able to end PSG's hot streak? Gabriel Jesus to give Arsenal the lead, but it's a great save. No, no way. A defensive error has given Arsenal a 1-0 lead in the first 16 minutes. What was Marquinhos thinking? 35 minutes in, looking for an outlet in the middle. To Vitinha. Takes a shot blocked by Declan Rice, but it's still with PSG. To Vitinha. Cook two, takes the shot, and it's all level at one. What a start for the signing from Benfica. Arsenal controlling the first few minutes of the second half. Jesus tries to beat Skriniar, but he finds Havertz all alone in front of net, and it's 2-1 to Arsenal. Defensively, PSG are struggling, and Arsenal has taken advantage. Oh my days, the disrespect with the celebration. A third goal by Arsenal will definitely be the dagger. Havertz looking to get his second of the day, and he gets it! And he beats Donnarumma at the near post, and back with the horrible celebration. 15 minutes left, PSG need a miracle to force extra time. Mbappe, still with Mbappe. Mbappe! And he gets one back. The fourth official has indicated one additional minute. It doesn't look like PSG is going to get one more. And there's the final whistle. Arsenal have dethroned PSG and are the new kings of the hill. But Mbappe will remain in the competition, joining Arsenal with a 9.0 match rating. Arsenal's first test as king would be Lazio. The match's first goal came from Arsenal's left back Sinchenko just before halftime, followed by a finish from Havertz to double their lead in the 73rd minute. Could we ban this celebration, Derek? That would be enough for Arsenal to get their first win as king. Bukayo Saka stole the show in round 17. The young talent scored a brace to knock Copenhagen out of the tournament. In round 18, Arsenal faced off against Turkish side Galatasaray, where Kylian Mbappe finally got his first goal since joining the English club. He would score again later in the match to make it 3-0. Galatasaray got one back in the 90th minute, but at that point, it was too late. A team is yet to win four matches while controlling the hill, and Arsenal will be playing... 
Barcelona next. Scoreless after 90, this match is going to extra time and potentially another penalty shootout, which we haven't seen in a little while. 10 minutes left of extra time. Neither team still hasn't found the back of the net. Arsenal with a good chance to take the lead. Gabriel Jesus, the substitute, has given Arsenal the lead. Gavi down the wing, looking for Lewandowski in the middle. He's waiting, crosses it in, but it's to nobody. What was that? And Arsenal officially defeat Barcelona and Gundogan with a 7.2 match rating will be joining their squad. A match against Braga in round 20 just wasn't fair. The Portuguese club didn't stand a chance against Arsenal. I couldn't even watch. The goals just wouldn't stop. He thinks he's him, Derek. With a 4-0 win against Braga, Arsenal felt unstoppable. So a matchup against Sevilla in the next round would be a walk in the park. Mbappe had the first good chance, but Sergio Ramos said nope. It didn't help that Saka was having a stinker, and Sergio Ramos was blocking everything. After five unbeaten games as King of the Hill, Arsenal will need to defeat Sevilla in a penalty shootout to remain on the hill. Up first, Saka. To make a statement, Sevilla goalkeeper making the statement, Sergio Ramos. And Ramsdale lets it in. Havertz, he can't miss. He put Havertz, Havertz, what was that? Arsenal are down two. Panenka, oh, Sevilla is having fun. Saliba, oh my days. All that for that. Honestly, if they're eliminated right now, they deserve it. What was that penalty? To end the match, and it's done. Arsenal are no longer kings of the hill. And Odegaard is a Sevilla player. Sevilla played Atletico Madrid in their first match as king. But a hat-trick from Atletico striker Morata meant that Sevilla's time on the hill was already over. We are officially down to the final 10 teams, but only one will be the king of the hill by the end of this video. Let's find out who Atletico Madrid play next. Real Madrid. What a first match as kings for Atletico, their Madrid rival. And it wouldn't take long to see the match's first goal. Look at the absolute mockery by Vinicius Jr. to the Atletico fans. Morata looking to equalize the score, but it drops the Koke to Griezmann. Takes it himself, all alone, and Courtois puts it to the side. Real Madrid have looked like the better team in the first half, and the scoreline clearly shows that. Will Atletico Madrid be able to come back in the second? Real still looking for that second goal, and it looks like it's going to fall to Valverde, but a great save from Oblak keeps this match at 1-0. Great pressure by Real. Can they take advantage of this? It looks like it might be a pen. Was it outside the box? It was. That was very close, right on the line. If they somehow put this one away, Atletico will probably be eliminated. Alaba by himself, what a strike! Oh my days! You couldn't have hit a ball any better. What a strike by David Alaba. One Madrid team out and another one in. Real Madrid are the new kings of the hill. Real's first test as king would be Union Berlin. But it was an easy one as they won 2-0 after a goal and assist from Vinny Jr. They'd play another German team in the next round. But after 105 minutes of football, nothing separated the two sides. 10 minutes remaining in extra time. Is this the winner? Bellingham against his old club and he's eliminated. Dortmund from the competition. I wonder if he would actually celebrate against Dortmund. I don't think so. It's got to be a little more realistic, EA. Come on. And the final whistle confirms it. Dortmund is eliminated and Madrid stay kings of the hill. Bellingham would be the hero again in round 25 as he scored the match's only goal, eliminating Salzburg from the hill. With the five teams remaining on the wheel, I do not see Madrid losing another match. Who will they play next? Newcastle. 120 minutes wasn't enough to separate these two sides. It'll be decided by another penalty shootout. Newcastle must put this one away if they want to stay in the competition. Almiron. Courtois saves it. Real Madrid remain king of the hill. Who will they play next? PSV. On this wheel, they have the lowest overall rating, so this shouldn't be a problem for Real Madrid. But a counterattack late in the first half saw PSV take the lead. No way this guy hit the Suarez celebration against Madrid. Madrid with a free kick in a dangerous position. But who else coming in clutch is Rodrigo with a header to tie it up in the 77th minute. Real Madrid are looking for the winner. They do not want this going to another penalty shootout, but they've ran out of time. Back to the penalty shootout we go. We're on to round six. Valverde puts it away. A lot of pressure on the PSV squad right now, but the fans are believing in them. And he makes the save! But I can't believe I'm cheering for Madrid like this, but they are still kings of the hill. What a story. Courtois has been the man of the match for this team over and over again. Two Italian and one Spanish team remain on the wheel who will look to take down Madrid, who will be trying to set the record of six wins as king of the hill. But they'll have to do it against Inter Milan. Bellingham with a great run here in the 74th minute. Cuts it back to Rodrigo. Cuts it in. 
Back to Valverde all alone in front. And he gives him the lead with 15 minutes left to go. I wonder how far Madrid would have gotten if they actually started on the hill. Because this is an incredible run so far. Di Marco looks to put it across. The throw up. And it's a save off the line by Courtois. He is definitely the MVP of King of the Hill so far. That is incredible. Seconds left in the match. Just waiting for the whistle now. And Inter Milan have failed to knock Real Madrid off the hill. What an incredible run from the Spanish club right now. I wish it was Barcelona. I really do. This is tough to watch. One of these two teams will automatically qualify to make it to the finals of King of the Hill without playing a single match. That is the beauty of this game. And it's going to be up next. Real Sociedad by millimeters. Real Sociedad have a lot of work to do, especially as Inter Milan's Lautaro Martinez has joined the Madrid squad. It took Martinez less than five minutes to get his first goal for Real Madrid. What a start for the Argentinian. And in the 60th minute, Federico Valverde would double Real Madrid's lead. Real Sociedad would get one back with 10 minutes left, but it ultimately wasn't enough. Real Sociedad has run out of time, and Real Madrid, with seven consecutive wins as King of the Hill, have punched their ticket to the Champions League final. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, the Champions League final between Real Madrid and AC Milan. Five minutes left in the half. Can Real Madrid come up with a goal here late? Valverde to Vinny Jr. To Lautaro and he has it. It's 1-0. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's offside. Lautaro has not scored. The linesman spoils the party. Ah, you know what? That, yeah, that's offside. That is definitely offside. AC Milan fans can breathe a sigh of relief, but Real Madrid are coming back with another attack right away. Rodrigo, what a move, but it's blocked. Nothing to separate these two sides so far. On to the second half we go. One last chance for AC Milan to win it. Calabria, the captain of AC Milan, swings it across. But no one is there to receive it. This one's going to extra time. Dangerous attack from Real Madrid. Luka Modric with room to dribble. Takes the shot, but it's blocked. And it drops back to him. Modric, the substitute. It looks like Real Madrid will be the king of the hill unless AC Milan pulls something out of the hat here. Chukwueze, look at this run by AC Milan. All the pressure on the other side. Has it in and it's in. Oh my days. In the 105th minute, Jovic has tied it up. Once a Real Madrid player, now scoring against his old team in one of the biggest matches of his career. What was that jumping for him, though? This guy was looking like a gymnast. One last chance for AC Milan to take the lead and be crowned king of the hill. Can they do something here? Calabria to Loftus-Cheek. Great defending by Real Madrid. It looks like this one's heading to another penalty shootout. What a game this has been in the final. Real Madrid will shoot first. Luka Modric, the goal scorer. But he doesn't find the back of the net. Maynon makes the save. What a start for AC Milan. And it's a save by Courtois as well. Rodrigo finds the back of the net. The first goal in this penalty shootout. Benacer puts it in as well. It's all level. David Alaba, a confident penalty taker. Panenka. Wow. Jovic, the other goal scorer, puts it in against Courtois. Bellingham, the captain, puts it in as well. Thea, I still don't know how to say his name, but he does put the ball in the net. Kamavinga, the man who can play in every position. He can also score penalties. And it all comes down to this. If AC Milan do not score here, they will be eliminated and Real Madrid will be the king of the hill. And he goes down the middle. It's not over just yet. Eder Militao, the late substitute. And it's saved by Maynon. Oh my days. Loftus Cheek, who failed to score in football imperialism to give him the win, here can win it. And he does! AC Milan are the king of the hill! Real Madrid has fallen, and if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love this video right here.